This is an introduction to the Web Design Rapid Project 3. So this is the third in our project series. This is a Rapid Weaver Stacks 3 Foundation project. It's based around the Pulse CMS because this project is aimed at a restaurant or coffee house or bar type of business where you have a requirement to update data on various pages quite often, such as a, such as a menu. So we'll jump straight into this. Um, full page entry, uh, there's a smooth scroll down here, and then it goes into the main website. You can see that it's using the foundation top bar here, which will stick at the top. But the logo is um, overhanging the um, top bar there, which has also got a very subtle texture on it. Um, the red areas that are here are areas that are using Pulse CMS to display information. So you'll see an, a number of these throughout. Here's another one. Uh, this is basically a sort of a promotions what's going on in the restaurant. So we have fresh in the restaurant today. And these little areas here, these are uh, all, um, all of this text is being pulled in from the Pulse CMS system. So we can change anything we want in there. And these are the sort of things that might change weekly, daily, hourly. That's easy to achieve. Um, coming down here, we've got a nice um, slider that'll take you through a uh, nice way of talking about the employees and that sort of thing. Um, we've got the, the one of one of these areas. There's a link, direct link into the menu system there, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, you can have pictures. These pictures will um, collapse nicely and go, go up to 2560 wide screen so they look pretty good then you can have another page on this nice subtle texture here of uh, whatever you want you know but these it's quite a nice way to build up uh, additional content to have a series of three pictures followed by an area like that and then at the bottom we've got a, a slightly different approach to having a footer uh, it's a sort of split footer um, and um, it's got several things um, in here Instead of putting a Google Map in there, following on the recent changes from Google Maps, I think it's better these days just to link directly to a Google Map um, that shows everything you want, driving directions, those sort of things. So that's what I've done there. So you can have what you want in there. Uh, this is another of the Pulse CMS features. This is the uh, newsletter sign up feature. So you don't need to buy an additional stack to do that. Uh, social icons here and uh, the mail icon is using another of the Pulse CMS features which is the contact form and you can add additional fields in here um, it works well easy to use nice for customers to use uh, it's a good system so if we go back up into um, say what's happening here this is this is really a conventional blog, but it's it's done slightly different to be. Uh, it's called what's happening, and this is really what's what's going on in this business. In this case, it's a restaurant. So there's a number of stories there, and in this case, these are some of the uh, the pre-configured blog entries, the posts that are in there. Um, you can put pictures and videos and files and things in there, but it's a very elegant looking uh, blog, and it works well. Of course, if you click on one of those, it takes you off to its own unique page, which you can then link to. There's a nice um, animating uh, close icon up there, or you can just go straight back. So if we then go and have a look at the, uh, the menus, the menus is a, is a separate page because depending what sort of structure you have and how many items, you would probably have a very large page full of information here. But this has been um, laid out to make, make it obvious what each of these red areas are. So this one is set up as a starter, a main menu, and a dessert menu. Now, how does someone edit this? Well, I'm, I'm gonna call up the, uh, the Pulse CMS app here and right at the top here you will see um, this logo now to 
uh, modify this, all you need to do is pull your logo in an SVG format into one of the folders in the Pulse um, admin folder. It's really simple. That'll come up on a phone, on a website, or in the app. Uh, very nice way to uh, to customize it. Now, let's uh, sh let's look at how this uh, menu is being altered. Um, one of the things you can do in um, Pulse is you can set up what are referred to as blocks, and you can give them names. So I've given these, these are just text files, and I've given them meaningful names. So we have starters, which is what this uh, part of the menu is. We have specials, which is on the home page. We have main, which is the one here. Uh, well, you know, I'm sure you get the picture. So if we now click on starters, we can go in and edit that. And you'll see here, this is the content that you're seeing on the screen down here. Now we have the first item in here is uh, local cured meats at uh, 15 euros. Um, I'm now going to change that to, uh, I'm going to make it expensive. Let's make it 99, 99 euros. Okay, we make the change, we hit save. And now as soon as we refresh this, you'll see that that price there will change to 99 euros. There we are. That's all you need to do. You can add, remove, edit. You can uh, you can do all sorts of things there. It's a simple system. It's easy to hand this over to someone who works on the restaurant and train them up and get them working with this. And because it's nicely labeled like this, um, it's uh, it's fairly straightforward to go in and make these kind of changes. So um, I'll I'll just go over that again. I'm going to put that back to uh, I don't know. Let's make it let's make it twelve. And that's all you do. That's that's how easy the CMS system is for someone to use, for an end user to use. In terms of um, setting this up in the program, this just has one setting. It has the name, and all you give it is the name starters. So it it really is easy to use. Um, at the bottom here is another feature. This is the new uh, drop zone feature in Pulse CMS. If I click on this, you'll see this links to a PDF file. So I could print this or download it. And uh, that is also set up with Pulse CMS. It's set up in a very slightly different way. But one of the nice features about Pulse CMS is that it deals with media and you can um, allow certain types of media files. Um, for example, you could have PDF or zip files. And this links to a file called menu. Here we are, menu.pdf. So if you wanted to upload a new version of this or upload a different one, you just go to upload and drag your new menu into there. So that's all the end user has to do. Drags a file called menu.pdf in there, and then this button will download that new file. So great way of downloading um, files and updates, calendars, schedules, um, that sort of stuff, all done within Pulse CMS. So it really is a fully featured system. Um, in terms of setting it up, if you follow the instructions, you'll be up and running within a few minutes, literally. When you get Pulse CMS, you get a folder of files. You open one file in there and make three changes. So put you put your password in, your serial number, and you put in the folder name that you're going to put it into. And it comes in a folder called Pulse and it makes sense to continue to use that. So you just type Pulse into that, save it. Now, if you're using Rapid Weaver 6, you just drag that file, that sorry, that folder into the root of your server. Or if you're using Rapid Weaver 7, you can also drag that folder into the resources within Rapid Weaver 7. That's it. That's all you need to do to set it up. There's no other configuring. Um, and then when you're setting the program up, and this, this project file is already set up with this um, Instax Pulse stack pointing to the Pulse folder. 
once you've done that, it's working. And in fact, you don't even have to do that in this project because that's already done. So um, that's it. It's available now. If you have any questions, um, fire them in. Thanks.